Welcome back to Tech Learning YouTube channel, where you learn instrumentation, electrical, and automation. In today's video, we'll see some important PLC and SCADA interview questions and answers. So, let's start the video. What is a PLC, and how does it work? PLC is a specialized industrial digital computer, designed for industrial automation. It continuously monitors the status of inputs from sensors or user commands, processes the data based on a pre-written logic in programming, and sends the required output signals to field devices, like actuators, motors, or other control devices. PLCs are highly reliable, flexible, and capable of handling complex control tasks in real time. The main features of PLC are, its rugged design, real-time operation, and its reprogrammable capability. What is SCADA? SCADA stands for, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. SCADA is used to control, monitor and analyze industrial devices and processes in real time. The SCADA uses computers and software, to monitor and control industrial processes. SCADA collects the data from remote and on-site PLCs or sensors. The key components a SCADA system are, HMI, PLC or RTU, and, communication links or networks. What are the differences between PLC and SCADA? PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. It is a hardware device used for real-time control of machinery and processes. It executes control logic to automate tasks, such as turning on or off motors, controlling valves, and managing other equipment. SCADA is a software system installed on a computer or HMI. SCADA provides monitoring, control, and data acquisition capabilities for industrial processes. It collects data from various sensors and devices, including PLCs, and presents it to operators in a user-friendly interface. SCADA systems are used for supervisory control, allowing operators to monitor and control multiple PLCs and other devices from a central location. What are the primary components of a PLC systems? The main components of a PLC system are, Central Processing Unit or CPU, the CPU is the brain of the PLC. It executes the user program, processes inputs, generates outputs, and manages communication with other systems. Input-output module. Input modules receive signals from devices like sensors and switches, while output modules send control signals to actuators, motors, and relays. Power supply. It provides electrical power to the PLC and converts incoming power to required voltage levels. Programming device. Programming device is used to program the PLC. It could be a computer with programming software, a terminal, or a handheld device. Communication interfaces. These allow the PLC to communicate with other PLCs, SCADA systems, and HMIs for data exchange. What are the key considerations while selecting a PLC? The following points should be considered while selecting a PLC. The first consideration is number of I.O. points. Determine the total number and types of input-output devices needed and ensure the PLC has sufficient I.O. capacity to handle all input-output devices. Second is processing speed and memory. Select a PLC with adequate processing speed for real-time operations and enough memory according to your program's complexity. Third is Communication requirements. Ensure the PLC supports necessary communication protocols for integration with other devices like SCADA and sensors. Fourth is, scalability. Choose a PLC that allows for future expansion with additional I.O. modules or devices. Environmental conditions. Evaluate the operating environment, temperature, humidity, dust, to ensure the PLC can withstand the conditions. What is ladder logic in PLC programming? Ladder logic is a graphical programming language used in PLC's programming, resembling electrical relay circuits. It represents control logic visually, with vertical lines called power rails and horizontal lines called rungs. Rungs contains logical operations. Each rung consists of inputs and outputs. It supports elements like normally open-closed contacts, coils, timers, and counters. Ladder logic is intuitive, easy to understand, and widely used for industrial automation. Its simplicity and resemblance to traditional electrical diagrams make it popular in the automation industry. Why communication protocols are important in PLC? 
Communication protocols in PLCs are crucial because they enable data exchange between other PLCs and devices like sensors, HMIs, and SCADA. Some common protocols are Modbus, Profibus, Ethernet, and Profinet. Communication protocols standardized how data is transmitted making integration easier across different brands, devices, and networks. We have made a detailed video on different types of communication protocols. The link of this video is given in the description. What is the difference between syncing and sourcing in PLCIO? Syncing and sourcing refer to the direction of current flow between a PLCIO module and an external field device. Syncing and sourcing are important concepts to understand when working with PLCIO modules, as they determine how the PLC interacts with external devices and how the circuit is wired. Syncing mode In syncing, the device provides a path to ground for current, which means current flows into the input output module. Sourcing mode The device supplies current to the input output module which means current flows out of the module thanks for watching we hope you found this video helpful if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe take care and keep learning